We were ancient. A space-faring species that had escaped their home planet, and eventually their star's gravity well millennia ago. We have been to thousands of star systems, tens of thousands of planets and moons, but we are still alone. In our fiction, aliens fill the universe to the brim, but in reality, the universe seems to be a cold, dark, barren place devoid of life. Sometimes we found some microorganism. In extremely rare cases, we found plants in the Goldilocks zone, bathed in sunlight, shielded from radiation, filled with a complex system of flora and fauna, but there was no intelligent life form. Nobody equal to us. There is nobody that could help us feel less lonely. But then, we found it. An alien probe, made thousands of years ago, was discovered when our science ship was exploring the stars. It proved that intelligent alien life does exist. The news reached every person in our empire, and soon people came to the streets to celebrate the fact that we are no longer alone. The probe is studded. We found a golden disc, a record. We found a series of images and sound telling us about an ancient alien civilization. At first, it took quite a while for us to decipher the message and finally get the record to play. But now, we have done it. The record contains aliens' exotic biology, their location in the galaxy, their truly beautiful music, and their majestic cultures. The record is like a time capsule, made to preserve their civilization, even if they were long gone. We start a project to come to them, to meet them. We can trace back where the probe is launched from. In the Golden Record, their home planet's location is also contained. So, on that day, Several ships are launched, ready for our first contact. But when we came to their home planet, Soul Free, everything was not as planned. The planet is not a blooming alien civilization, but a barren world covered in ashes and radiation. The planet seems to have had a very big thermonuclear war, killing most life forms on it. There are traces of civilization, but we can't seem to find any intelligent life form. Only we're looking alien insects in the very dead alien cities and ruins. We continued to search. We found more and more relics of their civilization. Elegant paintings, more music, and the ruins of their computers and their so-called internet. We learned their brutal history, their dominion over their home planet and their extinction, their wonder and their fault, their hope and love, agony and hatred. But... After everything, we are still alone.